Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to create a horizontal slider with custom scroll bars using just HTML and CSS. So let's get started. So here we have some cards with the name of the company, with name of the CEO, and then as well as the logo. So here when you hover, you see that this, the cards, they scale up. And then we have this horizontal scroll bar, which you can use to scroll the content. Now this is really neat in case if you want to have custom client testimonials or if you have a food company if you want to showcase your different dishes so you can also do that or maybe you want to showcase the brands that you have worked for so you can also showcase that using this cool slider. Now the best part about this is if I show you for the mobile screens so this is completely responsive and also the touchpad works really neatly. So stick around and learn how to build this using just HTML and CSS. Now before starting, the source code of this is down in the description so you guys can download that and play with it. So here I am in my horizontal scroller folder when I have created two files namely index.html and style.css. Now in the index.html, first we set up our HTML document by clicking on exclamation and hitting enter. In the head section, we add the metadata as well as we add the link to the remix icon library. So we use the CDN. So to get the CDN, you can search for remix icon CDN.js and then the first link that opens up, you're gonna click onto that. If the latest version is not available, you go to the previous version you copy this minified one and paste it here. And then we add the title, our style.css, and also this remix file. Now in the body, we start off by giving the main container a class of slider container, which holds our slider. Inside the slider div, we have individual slide divs for each company in this case. Each slide contains a title, which is H4, a paragraph tag, and then an icon, inside of which we have our remix icon. Let's save, and this is our HTML. Now in our style.css, first we start off by importing the font family pop-ins. Now to import this Google font pop-ins, you go to the official website of Google Fonts. So you search for Poppins Google Fonts, the first link that opens up, you click onto that, you click onto this get font, you get this embedded code. Now, if you want, you can link it. In this case, I'm using import. So you're gonna copy here, you copy this code and paste here. After the font is added, we add some global styles to reset the margin, padding, and use box sizing for all the elements. Now the body is styled as a flex container, and then it is set to center for both horizontal and vertical. We set the height to 100% viewport height and a yellow background. And also we hide the overflow and use the font family as pop-ins. We will style our custom scroll bar. So to style a custom scroll bar, a scroll bar has three main things. Scroll bar itself, the scroll bar track, and then sum. So the height of the scroll bar would be seven pixels. The background of the track would be none. And also we would set the border radius as 10 pixels. Now for the sum, we would add the background color as shown and then the border radius as 10 pixels. Now whenever the scroll bar is hovered, we want the background color to be completely white. Now we style the slider container. We add its width to 100% and if there are any horizontal overflow, we set it as auto so that we get the scroll bar. Let's save and let's see. 
As of now, everything is at the corner and we don't see any scroll bar. Now we style our slide or the slider. Here we set the property as display flex since we want it to have the flexible container. And then we set the width as fit content and we center it using align items and justify content as center. Now we add a gap of 40 pixels between each slides. We set the overflow X as auto in case if there are any scrollings. And then we set the margin as auto so that everything if there is only one content or one slide so that it appears at the center. Just like this. Finally, we will style our each individual slides. So first before doing that, we add a padding of 20 pixels to the slider. Now in the slide, we add width and height and give the background color as white. We round the edges by giving the border radius as 2 pixels. We add margin bottom as 20 pixels and give it a box shadow so that it has some kind of depth. And then we add display flex and the content should be aligned vertically and then also they should be centered so we add justify content and align items as centered. Now we target the title which is H4. We increase the font size. We target the paragraph. We decrease the font size a bit and set the margin top as 5 pixels and give the text a bit of opacity of 0.7 and also we set the margin bottom as 20 pixels. Now we set position relative to the slide. Since we want the icon to be positioned absolutely and here we add the value of bottom 30 pixels and y 30 pixels and font size to 30 pixels. Let's save. And here we have it. Now whenever the slide is hovered, we want it to scale up. So we add this hover and we have the scale 1.1. Now as you can see, this does not have any transition. So to add transition in the slide, we add transition of 0.3 seconds with ease. Let's save. Here we have it. Now in the HTML, I would add the rest of the content and here you would see that when we hover we have this cool scale effect and also we have this horizontal scroller as explained. Now if I open the dev tools and show you for mobile devices you can see that it also works for mobile devices and it is completely responsive and you can use the touchpad and it works really great. And that's it. We have created a horizontal slider with custom scroll bars using just HTML and CSS. Now in case if you want to have the scroll effect of the mouse, if you want to know that, so do comment down below and I'll show you a few lines of JavaScript and can help you achieve that as well. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more such content. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.